to the rear. Oh, to a secure facility. To a secure, sure, we want to protect them too. Okay, okay. Who do you need to speak, I need to speak right with Major Braddock or your security you chief, your security you chief Mueller. Can you find out for him? I need to get security to the chief. town mayor, she's in a meeting. Okay, let's go ahead and bring those two in. Okay. You need an escort for that first? Take it. Got it. Yeah, we're going to get paid. Thank you. You need to get paid. No, we're going to get paid. Let, let us out. Let us out. Let us out of here. Come on. Uh, you can get it off the screen. Yeah. Can you point out uh, the uh, enemies on the screen? Yeah, again, here's uh, the red icons are an example of an enemy unit there. And again, we're using uh, mill standard 2525 symbology, which is a little bit new to the military right now. And that's the criminal group? Well, again, it could be an enemy unit or it could be an unknown unit. It could be just a civilian group. We don't know. Again, it depends on how it's reported, and that's just an example. So this is the criminal group. This is the terrorist group. This is a civilian group. This is an infantry unit. Who's the infantry? Could be an enemy infantry unit, unknown size and type. Okay. If I see a group of enemy infantry and I don't know what size and type it is, it's just an unknown enemy unit. So we've got terrorists, we've got criminal groups, we've got infantry groups, and there's an armored vehicle that the enemy has? Correct. Okay, the, these guys have plastic handcuffs available. Uh, you see it in the gentleman's mouth right there. He's got a plastic handcuff. These are handcuffs that are used to uh, uh, control dissidents. You see he's turning it into a uh, handcuff by looping one through the other. And uh, they'll be used to put on... Basically, uh, this is a place where uh, people are identified. Here's, uh, here's the plastic handcuffs right here. We're, we're interfering with the exercise at this point, okay? They won't tolerate civil disobedience. This is a place where they're going to use uh, uh, the plastic handcuffs. Again, you see them right here in the soldiers' hands. Uh, this is where people are restrained, identified as possible terrorists. Let's go, please. This is a site that we've been warned away from by the people operating this. They don't want us to see people restrained in handcuffs. This is something that they don't want us to be able to video. I'm, I'm not going to bring. I'm not going to bring a, a foreign officer up and to and, and insult him. Okay. Insult him? Yeah. Who did I insult? Well, I'm not saying he did, but you're getting close. Okay. So I'm not going to do that. If you're if you're if you're going to interview him, I'll be more than happy to do how, that. How did I get close? I mean, I'm just curious. Yeah. You're, you're asking, you know what you're doing. So that's all I'm saying. I was asking about the UN. Okay. I will get I will get a foreign officer for you, and and he was on UN duty. So a lot of the older people are getting out of the Marines. Uh, basically, it's all going to a younger type of person. Oh, they're they've actually changed. Well, that's uh. uh it's mainly uh, more young people are uh, being involved with the new uh, time of change, or uh, a change of time. So guys, are, uh, is the main assault about to start? Pretty soon here, pretty soon. <clears throat> so they just basically let us see the uh, soft stuff, huh? Right. <laughs> you said right? Yeah. So, so y'all are about to go in and take out the terrorists, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Who are the terrorists? Who's the main complement of terrorist? What's up? I mean, basically, uh, we just saw the uh, the assault stuff. Y'all are about to go in and do a major assault? Exactly, yeah. We're going to go in, we're going to hit the terrorists, uh, take them out, they've been causing some problems, roll them with the vehicles for support. Who are the terrorists? Who are the terrorists? Yeah. Uh, they got a faction in there that's causing some trouble. Is that the uh, orange? What's that? The orange group. You're green and they're orange. Uh, the green or the green for us. So basically, uh, basically, what's going on right now? The other forces can't handle it. They're about to send y'all in. Exactly, exactly. One five's going to be sending us in, and uh, we're going to hit the last two buildings where the faction's going to be held at, and uh, we're going to rush in there with our scouts. We're going to hit them hard, take them out. 
So y'all are doing almost like a SWAT type city exercise. Right. So you're doing a special weapons and tactics. Exactly. Just like police, but with bigger, more firepower. Yeah, pretty much like SWAT. We're gonna go in, we're gonna rape, we're gonna hit them hard, and we're gonna pull out. So, so y'all are going in to kill. This right now is peacekeeping that's going on right now. Y'all are going in to kill uh, terrorists. Kill terrorists, right? Exactly. Wow, that's something else. Like Mike, let's come up there. I don't know if I'm getting all this. I saw some people being arrested and frisked and slammed down on the ground down there at the, at the base. What's going on there? They're probably uh, most likely just giving up uh, resistance, saying, you know, we don't want help. They're probably uh, pushing people around and stuff like that. Oh, so we have. During the uh, evacuation period, you can have you can have counter hostiles. So they forcibly take people to the camp if they're being hostile. Yes. What about the folks that are wearing black and are and are posing as police officers? What's their role? I'm not sure. Yeah, they are police officers. So, to my knowledge, those are police officers. Oakland Alameda the Police. So they're we police acts. We have full support for this training operation from the Oakland uh, Police Department, basically yes, from sir. all the civic. Uh, civic people here. So. Oh, I understand that, absolutely. Marines are just training with the Alameda Police Department. That's that's more likely what's going on there, just to get used to working hand-in-hand -hand with the police force. That's, that's a lot of what goes on in today's world. What, uh, what, what would you do if, if people in America were upset about getting their weapons taken away? Would you guys ever go and help the government take their weapons away? Or we don't have to have this. I, don't know. I won't answer that question. Okay. Man. We'll turn the camera off. Well, that's Oakland, California, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's go to some listening devices, cameras on the street corners, and armored personnel carriers in the hands of your local police. So, officer, you're on the uh, Austin uh, City SWAT team? Yes, sir. What type of vehicle is this? Uh, it's called APC, armored personnel carrier. Armored personnel carrier. Donated from the military, donate that, Jeff? Yeah, we got all the free goodies. There's a lot more coming, don't worry. It works fine. Was this your Kevlar helmet? Pretty effective. Yeah. Can we look at it? Sure. Boy, it almost looks like a German helmet. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think they're actually a uh, military surplus. So it's yeah. Plain and black. Police departments, from the smallest to the largest, all across the country, are receiving free military surplus helicopters, APCs known as armored personnel carriers, and much more. A deadly trend that is expanding. But it's not just armor that local law enforcement from state agencies to local police departments are getting. No, my friends, it's listening devices. Of course, the excuse is, is to find the location of gunshots. But the designers openly admit it can also be used to listen to your conversations and triangulate your position. Let's just consciously think about this for a second. Listening devices. And I almost forgot, in tandem with cameras, all federal funding. Repeat, all federal armored personnel carriers, helicopters, foreign troops, practicing with local police, with our military. And in Austin, Texas, and many other cities I've visited, I have noticed that many of the cameras aim into the neighborhoods. I'm not kidding. Time and time again, they are not focused on the highways and byways, but into neighborhoods. And then you've got the checkpoints. Those can't be ignored. Warrantless searches, random searches. Can't be called American. More akin to some foreign third world dictatorship. Every day I see families, black, white, Hispanic, it doesn't matter, being pulled over, being searched at random. Police have requested to search my vehicle. And in all of the four or five cases, I've told them no. But once I had to get somewhere, so I said, you know what? Go ahead and search the vehicle. But you're thinking the media will keep